Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to go over a trailer. If you tuned in a couple weeks ago, I did one on a 28 footer. This one's a 24 footer, but this is one of my by far favorite setups as far as a, a trailer itself if you're looking for a stock trailer. It really fits if you are using it for show purposes and also on the on the farmer ranch if you're hauling cows and bulls and things like that it's our dirty tack setup like i mentioned this one's 24 foot on the floor this is eight foot wide six four tall we'll get into the dirty tack part of it here in a little bit but we'll kind of start off at the front i wanted to kind of show you a couple things that we do exclusively here at uh, TransWest on our Cimarron's when we go ahead and order them. Um, but one thing that we do is we've talked about it time and time again, and I did a video on adjusting the ride height of your gooseneck, giving yourself bed clearance, making sure the trailer's running level. We continue to see these newer trucks get taller and taller and taller as far as from the ground to the top of the bed. And these are on standard trucks. Uh, for example, I measured one the other day from the ground to the uh, top of the back corner of the bed was about 58 and a half inches tall. So we continue to see these trucks get taller and taller. But what we want is we want our trailers to run level and we want bed clearance. A lot of times you'll see older trailers on newer trucks and they're running uphill. So all the weight is on the back axle and then you have bed clearance or the trailer's running level and they have hardly any bed clearance at all dinging up their bed. So a lot of the standard gooseneck drop wall heights, so from that point to the bottom of the box, over the years has been 50 inches. And that's pretty much industry standard. That kind of changed about early 2000s. It went from 47 inches to 50, same thing, because the trucks, trucks kept getting taller and taller. So one thing that we've done is we've gone in and we order all of our Cimarron's without living quarters with a 53 inch gooseneck drop. So again, it's from this point right here to the bottom of the box is 53 inches. So by doing that, this will allow us to level this trailer out. You're running on both axles and we have bed clearance. What we strive for typically on a non-living quarters trailer is somewhere in that seven to eight inches of bed clearance on our living quarters. It's kind of more like five and a half, six, six and a half, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, but that's one thing that we've done on all of our Cimarron goosenecks that we order in now is have that, that way you can, even if you upgrade from an older truck into a newer one, you should be completely set and be able to run, level that trailer out and have that bed clearance. A couple other things, this one's got a single leg. It is a manual jack. But what I want to show you is the handle. So this handle comes off the side for our hand crank, but this also doubles as a lug wrench for you. So you have a lug wrench with you for your Cimarron if you need it. And then they've got a nice place for it to store right down there. So again, we always refer to this as our dirty tack setup. And the reason why is you'll notice that this ramp is shifted back. And the reason why, we'll get in there, but I can create a, a dirty tack room inside this trailer. So again, this is a great dual purpose trailer if you're using on the farmer ranch or for show purposes. So what you notice is we've got our escape door and we shifted the ramp back and the reason why is I'll show you on this traveling gate here in a few minutes but I can move that traveling gate and set it between the escape door and the side ramp so right now you can roll it back if you want to bring up upright show boxes fan carts blower carts anything big generator you can actually use the ramp to to bring it up so you're not having to lift it up and in the side door store it up front roll your gate up, lock it in between the ramp and the escape door, and then load your cattle. That's where we get the name Dirty Tack. Um, we'll get to that kind of here in a minute, moving that gate, but I'll show you a couple things. We did a 16 inch calf gate on this that folds down. 
We also put a lower section of aluminum just to allow smaller items to not shift and, and come out of that gooseneck area in transit. You've got your roof vents. This trailer here is equipped with six of them. You also have an insulated roof that's standard on every Cimarron. We talk about time and time again about how durable it is. It'll take substantial hail. I can walk on this roof, it won't dent it, but most importantly, it keeps the stall area about 20% cooler, keeping your animals nice and cool in transit. So let's kind of, I'll show you this traveling gate here. On this one, we opted for the 48 inch swing, no threshold. So nothing for the cattle to have to step over. You can do a slider gate in this, or you can do a full width swing. We flipped the hinges on this one, so they're more on driver's side because loading and unloading cattle, it makes more sense to have the gate swung this direction. And for example, I'll show you when I get it slid up there about unloading your tack and why we hinge this gate this way. But these gates are so easy to use and it gives you the ability to manipulate your stall sizes all you want. It just slides extremely easy. And then when I get to my point here where I want to lock it in, now when I was talking about that hinge, with it being hinged this direction, you have a nice easy path in and out of here with equipment or even with cattle. It, it, it does not matter at all. If this gate was hinged the other way, we would actually have to go completely around, making it a little bit more difficult. So that's why we flipped the hinge on this one. But as you can see, now if you're using it on the farmer ranch, you're hauling pears, you're hauling maybe cows and a bull, you want to separate some things, you want to put calves in a smaller section, roll that gate up, lock it into place. You're not wasting a big, big stall area. On the show side, if you're hauling a cow-calf pair, Again, you're hauling a bull, you're hauling some heifers, you want to kind of keep things separated. These gates are so well set up for that to where you can manipulate those stall sizes. The other thing on this is if you decide you want a second gate on this trailer, it can easily be done. We just build you a new gate because we run this track on this trailer almost to the back. We keep a couple of feet off the back because we really don't feel like you're going to want to set the gate clear at the back on this trailer but a second gate can be added to this. And again, it can set on any post in here. So that's an option for you as well. Went ahead and did the Optibrite lights in here. Gives you a lot of light, a lot of coverage in here. Tie rails, high and low. And then we've got the two air gaps with plexiglass. That plexiglass does remove very easy to remove. We actually have a tray up in that gooseneck that you can take it out. I recommend a roll of uh, painter's tape, masking tape with a Sharpie. So you can take out driver's side upper, tape it all together, right driver's side upper, set it in there, do the same driver's side lower, and then same on passenger side. So then when you do go to put this plexiglass in, it's not a big puzzle. You're trying to figure out the different lengths and where they go. You know exactly where each section goes in this trailer. Out here for lighting, we've got a 16 inch awning light right here at the side ramp. So we have nice light. We have another one over on the escape door on the other side. And then we opted for the button lights for marker lights on this trailer. It's just a cleaner look, but it does put out a lot of light as well. Upper and lower tie rails. So you can tie out on this trailer on both sides. And then on this, because this trailer is 24 foot, but it's eight wide, giving us the capability to just maybe squeeze an extra heifer on or cow or pear or anything like that, we opted to upgrade to 14 ply tires rather than the 10 plies it comes standard with. Just a little heavier duty tire on this trailer. Now, you also get your aluminum wheels are standard on every Cimarron. And then you'll notice the green tab 
These are nitrogen filled tires. So that nitrogen filled will, won't allow tire pressure to fluctuate drastically. Cool, cool evenings here in Colorado, hot days. You know, that, that PSI level fluctuating drastically is what'll cause blowouts going down the road. So that nitrogen really helps with that. You also get a one year, no questions asked tire. Uh, warranty on these tires that Cimarron puts on. So if something happens, you catch a nail, a screw, they can't be patched. You take some pictures of the code, send it in the lion's head, they send you a new tire within a couple days. You also get two, two years of roadside assistance. So that's something that Cimarron does. That's a great, great feature when you're buying one of these trailers as well. We've got a swing gate at the back. It does have a slider in it. You'll notice two of the eight inch awning lights on this trailer for load lights at the back. So again, a lot of light throughout this trailer. Loading earlier in the morning before the sun comes up or getting in somewhere late at night. You know, you can turn all these lights on and you're loading and unloading basically in the daylight. They put out a lot of lighting. At this back corner is where all those switches are. They are also individually switched, so I can turn off driver side load light, passenger side load light, rear load lights, and interior. So we can, we can really get the coverage you want and not have to turn everything on if need be. Again, I mentioned the upper and lower tie rails on the outside. And then we have your escape door with a fold up step. So again, if you have tack, little items in there, you can access everything. If you're traveling, we all know we stopped to fuel up. This is a great place right here to put your cooler, get something nice and cold to drink for the kids. Not, in have, not having to crawl in there or anything like that. And the other thing on this door is there's your interior tie rails as well. So it's not just up to the door and then it stops, but you do have that lower and upper tie rail on this trailer, even on that door. So again, this is my one of my absolute favorite setups that we offer. Again, it's a 24 foot dirty tack. We have a 28 foot dirty tack. If for some reason you want a custom made set up similar to this and you want it 25 feet or if you want it 24 and 3 inches we can build you that trailer this one is a demo as you can see it is very very lightly used but because it is a demo we've got some savings for you on that so give us a call and we can visit about this trailer for reference for you it is stock number 5n191171 it's a 2020 Cimarron Lone Star stock trailer, but again, we refer to it as our dirty tack setup. Again, my name is CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. If you have any questions, you can give, my, give a call to me personally, or you can ask for anybody on the sales team, and they can help you out. Our number is 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.